Okay, Jason Unreal, post millennial. Right. Uh, public safety is listed kind of as a terrorist, terrorist entity since 2012. Uh, Soleimani was commander of Cuds Force. So my first question is, do you think Mr. Soleimani was a legitimate target? And my follow-up question to that is, if you say his killing contributed to events that unfortunately led to the downing of the aircraft, would your government now, I mean, first, can your government trust the regime on that? And would it follow through on listing the entire Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist entity as you voted for in September 2018? These are the kinds of questions that we will have to be uh, reflecting on in the coming uh, days and weeks. Our focus right now is providing the support to grieving families that need answers, that need closure, that need justice, that need uh, access to consular support both in Iran and uh, in Canada. Uh, we are doing everything we can to ensure that that happens in the short term, but obviously there are reflections in the medium and long term as we move forward. Your defense minister categorized uh, Soleimani's assassination as an act of deterrence, uh, one made, of course, by the United States. Do you agree with that assessment? I think there are many conclusions that we will be drawing as we uh, move forward and reflecting on these incidents of the past week. Uh, our focus right now is on ensuring that we are giving all the support necessary to families who have suffered immeasurable loss right now. That means access to consular officials. That means being part of a credible investigation uh, so that we get all the answers upon which we can uh, then start to reflect on next steps. Due to time, I'm going to let one last really quick question. If 